change for this channel look I'm going to be unboxing a McAllister cordless 36 volt lithium iron lawnmower wow of course I'm not did I fool some of you of course I haven't fooled any of you if you've read the title of the video I think this is a Miele vacuum cleaner and this is certainly going to be a project it looked in pretty good shape, but the motor apparently is blown or something. And I did look carefully at the pictures and there is a bit of a burn mark around the exhaust vent. Somebody has suggested on my Instagram page that it could be just the suppressor that's blown. It doesn't have a plug on it. I'm saying all this thinking that this is what's in the box. Yes, it is. I've just seen the extension wand. We've got some hobgoblin um, beer. And lots of polystyrene to dispose of. That's going to be around long after we've all gone. person said that they hadn't used it much and it was a shame so we'll see shall we I think it's only got one of the small tools which is probably in this bag here oh hang on what is it oh oh yes I don't know if that hmm don't know if that is a Miele tool, it could be, it looks, I don't know. Yeah, it looks worse than it did on the pictures, as often eBay listings do, don't they? But it's it's a body shape of Miele I've I've wanted, just you know. Right, there we are. So here it is. Yeah, it looks it looks reasonable actually. Let's uh look at it in a bit more detail so here it is it's a Miele electronic s226 i've done a little bit of research online and i believe this is one of sort of the last versions of this body shape i'm not sure um, the style of Miele that came after this and i've seen it in various colors i've seen it in a green and orange um i think a black as well and they did a version without the electronic control and I think they also did a version without automatic cord rewind. So I don't know if we've got onboard tool storage. No, we don't. We don't with this one. So that's a bit odd, isn't it? It's a bit of a backward step because this comes after, I think. No, it doesn't. It comes before. Just ignore me. Right, it does have a, an original Miele bag. And they are, they're huge compared to the bags you get nowadays. Miele have made their bags smaller but better at filtering the dirt. I think I can get, if I'm lucky, some genuine bags for this still. I'm not sure if any current bags fit this. That's certainly well used but, and this is, you know, despite the fact that this is a pretty dirty bag, inside is pretty clean and I, I doubt that that has actually been cleaned by anyone. It just goes to show you that even the older Miele bags were pretty good at keeping in the dirt. So we've got a pre-motor filter here. It looks like it's a screw thread. Yes it is. Let's undo that shall we? There we are. That all looks original. That's not um bad condition at all that is it and again look how clean that is so it's surprising that the motor has blown according to the person who listed this 
Now I have been online before I even put a bid in for this and I didn't pay a lot of money for it. Um, I can't recall at the moment, but it was under £20. But before I did put a bid on, I just, I thought I won't be able to get one. I just had a look to see if I could get a motor or carbon brushes for this. I can actually buy a compatible Miele motor that is designed to fit this. Branded Miele, proper Miele motor, but it will cost me about £100. So it all depends, it looks in pretty good shape. So if this cleans up even better than it looks and it isn't the suppressor that's blown, I will probably fork out for a brand new motor for this. Now, whether it's the same sort of quality as the original motor would have been, I don't know. But as long as it fits and it works, that's, I don't know if this is the right bag. It does seem to fit a bit strangely. Aha! Uh -huh. There is. I thought that might just be a blanking piece. So it is a power takeoff socket there, look. For a 100 watt power head. So it'll be one with a long cable that has to be clipped um, to the outside of the hose. A little bit squeaky, but we can oil that. This is the burn mark that I could see in the photographs on the eBay listing. So something has happened to this motor, pretty catastrophic, but I suppose a blown suppressor might have caused that. Um, I should be able to detect whether it's a suppressor when I open this up. But on the back here, you've got two pedals. It's, it's very good quality though. So again, it's just very surprising that the motor's blown. Nice, uh, Positive action on off. Oh, I better not. Oh, it's okay. I was going to say I better not um, press the cable rewind button in case the cable's pulled in. But it does have a little stopper, but it's, it moves up and down. So obviously it does need a, a plug put on it. But that, oh, that sounds so smooth pulling that out. I mean, oh, that really sounds very nice. It should work. It came out smoothly. Will it go in smoothly? Wow, yes. Very quickly as well. Nothing wrong with the uh, auto cord rewind on this um, either. We've got a bag. <coughs> well, I assume it's a bag check indicator. Or could be an overheating light there. But anyway, comment below if you know what that is. Because I've no instruction book for this. Well, I'll soon find out if I get it working anyway. Because if that lights up when I block the end of the hose, um, it's basically an airflow indicator. And we've got a nice little... Oh, that's smooth as well. That's very smooth. Ah, oh, hang on though. Mm. Don't know if that's been put on right because I can't turn it below two. It's just stopped there. So perhaps this, this has been... I think this has been looked at because, you know... Yeah, so it goes beyond the 8, as you can see. Instead of stopping at the 8, it goes beyond the 8. So I, I expect on that position, it is actually on 8. So possibly that's just not been put back properly when it's been opened up. If I open it up, that might just move round. So I think that should it should stop on the 8, I would have thought, and move all the way around to the 1 position. So looking underneath, again, it's all very good quality. Seems a bit funny having that panel there. So I've no idea how to get into this, but um, it's proper screws. Um, none of your silly star-shaped things. So a normal screwdriver should get into this. A um, little bit discoloured, as it's a white machine. It's gone a bit, uh, gone a bit yellow in places. Lovely quality, smooth running caster at the front. Two fixed wheels at the back. Bit noisy, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're not broken. Very plain rating sticker here. Let's uh, have a close up of that. So, Miele made in Germany, NR3030210, type S226, 240 volts, 40 to 60 hertz, and it has a thousand watt motor 
I just discovered something by accident when I was putting the cleaner back on its front and it's this. Because there is an exhaust filter, I didn't even think to look actually. But look, when you press that, you can see that the grill lifts up. And again, we can see evidence of the burning. Oh, and I can see more evidence on the uh, exhaust filter. I might be able to get that burning off. Um, it's possible, hopefully I will be able to. It's unlikely I'll be able to buy that part nowadays. But we can see, and I'm not so sure I'll be able to buy that filter, but I'll be able to cut something to fit. You can see it's had a bit of a catastrophic event going on. Possibly flames have actually come up through uh, the grill. Now we can uh, see, oh, let's see, well, that's handy, that comes off. So, I don't know if that will turn actually now. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any other way of putting that on because it is shaped underneath there to fit on that part. So, uh, I don't know why it's not lining up properly. And there's a bit of a, a bit of a sponge diffuser in there. So it's how do we get into this? Whether I can get into it through the top. It actually has, for some reason, there are arrows pointing. Arrows pointing at some screws. Surely they've not made it that easy for us. Perhaps they have actually. I think I should just be able to, because there's more screws this side. I'll be oiling those wheels and there's some more screws. There's one there, look, and one there. Those just um, hold the bag door lid in place. So hopefully I'll be able to access this from the top. Um, do you know what folks, let's have a look now. We might as well have a look at the motor while we're here. Right, I've undone the uh, the screws at the front. Hopefully it's just a question of four screws. Would it be that easy? Would be nice. So I'll do the two at the front. I'm going to leave the bag door in position at the moment because whether I remove that or not they all seem to be the same size screws so I don't have to worry where they went. That's four but I think Oops, well, yeah, take the knob off. I think I might have to remove, actually. I don't know if the, the, the bag door screws might actually be... No, I think I'll take this off here. The bag door screws might be actually um, stopping that panel. It's good that I'm filming this, actually, so I can check this myself because if that spring pops out I'll be able to see where it came from. Might be easier if I do this actually now. Try not to um yeah I'm going to screw that back up because I don't want that spring. I'm not going to screw it all the way. Just undo that. There we are Got our full access now. pull out it should do there we are put that to one side there's a lot more screws so I might have to undo some more I don't think it's going to or is it I don't know if I have to remove the pedals I wouldn't be surprised if there's some screws under the pedals so we'll have a quick look Let's see if there are some I will need, obviously I'm going to have to take this apart anyway, whatever happens. It's, I'm not going to, hmm. It doesn't seem to be. There is a, there is a screw there. I might as well take the other pedal off. 
In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. But all, all in all, the actual body of the machine does look in very good shape. It will clean up well and uh, polish. But it would be even nicer if I can get it to work. Well, there are two more screws there, look, underneath that on-off switch, but that probably just holds the on-off switch in position. Have Mila hidden any more screws? You see, there's... Again, there's two screws there, but I don't think that's... That just supports this little part that holds the cable. I don't think it actually holds the uh, panel down. Ah, oh, no, 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 there's no screws there. But there are screw threads. Oh dear. I might have to take... I might have to take the whole thing apart. So I think I'll have to leave this for now, because otherwise this video... <laughs> my lamp's about to blow up, I think, as well. <laughs> Is that an omen? Yeah. I'll just pause anyway, and... Uh, have a look at the screws underneath because I might have to, I can see where there's two holes here, two deep holes. There's no screws in there, but there are, I think, screws in there coming up from underneath, which is probably the last thing that's holding this panel on because I, I can't see any other way. And it's also in there. So yeah, not quite as easy as I was hoping it would be. Well, I might as well show you this. That was a bit of a waste of time. I, I undid all the screws at the bottom, thinking I might gain access from underneath, but all it's done, it's removed the lower outer shell. But at least, oh, look how lovely that is inside. Um, I would have to strip this down anyway for cleaning, so at least I know that that's how the uh, shell comes off. Unfortunately, all the screws are the same, apart from right at the top and above the wheels, but I've put those separate. So you can't actually access the motor. The motor is from the top, so I just need to undo some more screws. We've got... Um, what's that? Well, that's, that's obviously there, look. I still have a look. Might not get another chance. This is uh, where the power takeoff socket is for the um, power head. And um, I'm not really sure what all this gubbins is. I don't know if that's connected to the bag check indicator. It's, it could well be. There is some sort of a, a device, quite a large device there. Plastics on these are very good quality. Um, better even than um, current Miele's. You see, it's, it moves, but I don't know. I've tried on doing this screw here. There might be a knack to it, you see, folks. It is moving upwards. Let me just take out this. I don't think that'll make any difference, taking out the exhaust, uh, the pre-motor. No, there's nothing in there that would uh, stop it. And that somebody right now is shouting at the screen, you've got to undo so and so. I don't really want to um, mess about with the auto cord rewind. Hopefully this, taking this off isn't going to... Oh, oh of course. It's okay. Releasing that has obviously released the reel. But, oh, the more I take it apart, the less I like it, you know. Oh, that's so good quality though. It's that, that, it's that little component that holds the uh, cable, stops the cable from winding in when you don't want it to. Let's put that to one side with the relevant screws and the little spring. And give it another... Well, the only other screws that I can see on here are the screws for the switch. Just here. Oh dear. This is turning into a bit of an epic, 
I haven't got that much room on this uh, SD card. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and leave those springs in situ actually. I don't think that's going to help. These are the two screws either side of the mains on switch. Well this is the only other screw I can see. D I don't want to break anything. Oops, there we go. Right, I'll put all that there together. Um, help! <laughs> Ow! Perhaps I should uh, go on Instagram or Facebook and say, how do I get this off? Any Anyone know? Ooh. It's, it's, it's moving. I just don't want to force it. Might have to take this bit off. Um, of course, be careful with that, Rog. I thought it would be easy. Initially thought it would be easy, but no. Things rarely turn out as easy. I see, wonder if I have to undo that. That nut. Do you know what, folks? Going to ask for a bit of help on Instagram, and hopefully I'll be coming back shortly knowing how to take this panel off. Well, folks, I just posted a little video on Instagram and Facebook asking if anyone knew how to do it, and in the meantime, I had another go, and it's, it's sliding out. So it's probably going to leave a dirty mark on this carpet, but Look at that, the whole thing slides out really, really easily. What's that though? What's that loose? Oh dear. Ooh, don't know what that is. I heard something rattling about and that could be part of the motor. Isn't that fantastic? The way that whole thing slides out. It's, I think this machine has been made so you can service it. Unlike machines of today. Oh, that's fantastic because yes it does there's an electrical connection here so the whole thing just pulls out whether it's going to be so easy putting a new motor in i don't know but ah oh, isn't that br that's brilliant so here look at the heftiness of this vacuum cleaner motor it all looks very clean it's odd isn't it why is it i can see i can see the suppressor I believe that this here is the suppressor and it looks fine. Everything looks okay. Very careful with the cord reel. I don't want to upset anything there. Let me just turn this. Is he turning it by hand? Do you know what I should have done? I should have just put a plug on and tried it first, but it's the burning. Now, obviously the um, armature and the brushes, the brushes seat can we quite see there? It's a bit hard to see, look. You can see I'm rotating it. Obviously that's gone black, but you know, that, that does happen with a vacuum motor. I can't see any evidence of why, why there's anything wrong with this thing. But obviously something did go wrong with it, judging by, you know, the, the hole in the, uh, the filter. But what, what, what has happened? It's, it just looks, it looks fine. I mean, it's not, look how clean it is. It's absolutely spotless. You know, it's not caked in muck. That is definitely the, I would say that is the suppressor. That uh, little tubi tubular shaped item. And there's, um, that is a thermal, if I can show you. There's a little thermal cutout here to stop the motor, if the motor overheats. Let's carefully take this off if I can. I don't want to take... I don't really want to go into too much uh, detail. I don't really have time today. Ah, oh, but that... There we are. Let's put that there. It's bizarre because it looks absolutely fine. It's, I cannot understand why nothing looks burnt out at all. 
everything looks perfect as one would expect of a, a Miele cleaner, a vintage Miele. But now at least I can see what the motor looks like. So if I do for some reason have to replace the motor, in fact the picture I have seen does look like that. But you, we can see the suppressor a bit easier now. That looks fine, it's not blackened. It is an absolute um, mystery to me. It's a mystery. But you know, everything everything turns smoothly. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely made motor, this. Solid. It's very unusual for a machine of this sort of era to just blow up for no reason. So I am going to finally, before we end the video, I am going to put a plug on and put it all back together and just see what it sounds like. And then if it does sound a bit dodgy, then hopefully somebody watching will say, yes, you need a new motor, mate. Or it's just carbon, but this, I can't see anything at all wrong with this. Well, it's going back, back in its housing and it looks, which way did it go in? We can see where it connects up. You see this bit here? This is where it actually connects up to the electrics. Well, there's not much it connects up with. That's probably, where does that, that, that there actually, this little connection here is just connecting up, I'd say, to the power takeoff socket because all the other electrics are, it's all here, all contained in this sort of modular piece that just lifted out. That's the way that, all comes out obviously if I need to delve in a bit further I'd have to take more out but that is fantastic the way that's that just came out easy as pie there's a little bit of black inside here but nothing nothing major so what has caused that well it will be interesting you see this this whatever happened to this cleaner could have happened a long time ago and the the owner has just bought another machine and just forgotten about it, put it away. Um, you never know, it might have uh, fixed itself. Who knows? The vacuum angels may be smiling on me, but then again, they may not. Right, that's gone in. Yep, that's it. It just it just came away, you know, I was fiddling with it and just, I didn't want to snap anything. And all of a sudden, well, I had it up this way and it just, I won't do it again, but it slid out. Oh dear, that's gone in there, oh there you go. And of course that's not going to stay in now because I've taken off the, the doobie, which didn't have to be taken off. So I'll pop that back so at least the cable will stay out. I'll pop a plug on and we'll just, uh, risk it and see what the motor sounds like okay well i know i really should be doing this outside but well i can't be bothered it's cold so i've put a plug on it's not a very good plug it's just the only plug i had to hand if this works obviously i'll put a, a more authentic plug on not this see-through thing um right it's all back together <laughs> Look out for the flames. I'm gonna zoom in anyway and see what happens, but the camera is uh, a safe distance and hopefully I'll be a safe distance away from this vacuum when I plug it in. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> blimey. Oh dear! Oh. oh wow, did you? My heart's all daisy, are you alright darling? I should have done that outside. Well that should look pretty good. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm speechless. I am speechless. Um, poor. That's that has to be pretty spectacular for this channel. Anyway, I've had the odd little shock, and I've you know gone woo. But that it's all right, Daisy, darling. Oh, poor Daisy. <laughs>
It's a good job Molly's not in here because that would have scarred her for life. It certainly didn't help my heart. Right! That is bizarre, isn't it? Because everything looked perfect, didn't it? Everything, I showed you all these, I just thought maybe it's gonna work. Or maybe it just won't work. I didn't expect another blow explosion. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my poor, poor heart. <laughs> Crikey. Right then. Okay, I think this is going <laughs> This is going to be a project, isn't it? This is going to be probably a new motor. I'm going to put this video up, actually, sooner. I think I'll put this up to th this week, actually, on Wednesday. And um, maybe some of you might say, yeah, needs a new motor, mate. Or... Oh no, you can just tweak that. I'd be very nervous about plugging this in again. <laughs> and if I do, it's going outside. Wow, well, I should have, yeah. I'm laughing about it now. But I'm just, I'm just looking up at the ceiling, seeing if it's a black mark. <laughs> that could have gone even worse than that. So don't mess about with electricity, folks. Um, I had it at a distance, obviously. I, I wasn't I wasn't going to go like that and turn it on. It's a good job I was not near it. Pfft, wow. <laughs> well, that should be get me some more views anyway. Oh, oh, heck, Daisy. Oh, you all right, darling? Come here, poor Daisy. It's all right. Oh, she's looking. She's looking nervous. And so not a lot frightens Daisy. Look, here she is. She is all right, but her heart's going. <laughs> oh, little girl, I'm so sorry. I should have moved you. Okay, I know what's going to cheer Daisy up. Hey, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Yes. Right, she'll be fine after a treat. Well, <laughs> I'm just about kind of recovered from that. So I'm just going to finish the video by just showing you the other bits, the hose and everything. Um, I've given it a, a, a bit of a wipe. You know, it's a shame it's in such lovely, lovely condition, but it houses a terrible, terrible dark secret. It will blow up. <laughs> anyway, even if I do buy a new motor for it, which I probably will, I'm gonna be so nervous fitting a new motor because what if the explosion isn't connected to the motor? Oh well, there's another problem with this. Well, here's the hose, anyway. Fits onto there. Oh, look at that, it's even got a metal thing, a metal catch. I don't know if that's broken, looks a bit odd. Oh no, very, doesn't swivel very easily though. Oh, oh, squeaky, squeaky. And again, we've got this, which um, from the other Miele I've done, apparently that is a hook to hang up the hose. The hose is split, which I knew about, but I'm hoping, because it's split there, very close to the handle, I'm hoping it'll be a screw thread and I'll be able to take it out and just re-thread it, cut it, cut it, you know, cut it off and do it, hopefully. So that's one little problem. We've got the telescopic wand, which apart from needs a bit of a, a buff. It's a little bit rusty inside, light rust. But, um, yeah, it's not, not too bad. Like that. Yeah, just needs a bit of TLC. And then, uh, apart from the... See, it would have had more nozzles than that, but that's one nozzle it came with. And this is in very good condition. The floor tool. Look at that. So it probably hasn't had much use, judging by how clean everything was. Um... Ah, right. Yes, that's right, I did. I think that's been taped. Ah, yeah, that's been taped at the top. Um, I do have another one of these. You can you can sometimes pick these up on eBay, uh, this style of nozzle. And I do have another one. But I might be able to get, it's just this part has cracked. I've forgotten, I did remember seeing that in the listing. There's a little crack and they've put tape around it, so have to be a bit careful with that. But there we go. So what I can do now 
is just make the noise of the vacuum, can't I? That's what I used to do when I was a kid. I'm sure there's children out there now playing with their toy vacuums and making the noise. That's more me though, is it? Maybe a bit, dark, a bit of a uh, lower tone. Ooh, Daisy's looking at me as if I finally flipped. Well, I nearly did, Daisy. Your daddy nearly met his maker. So, on a serious note, I'll end the video now, but on a serious note, don't, don't muck about with electrical appliances because they can be deadly. I'm especially speaking to the younger viewers. What I did was very naughty. Now, I did know, you know, it said it had blown up, but I thought, well, people say things have blown up and all that's happened is it's blocked or something, you know, but a lot of people say things have blown up and they haven't. But yes, the seller wasn't telling porcupines this time. So really, I did it from a safe distance. My home has circuit breakers. Um, but in hindsight, I should have really done this outside and, and moved Daisy out of the room. So if you're looking to repair anything, whether it be a vacuum, any electrical appliance, if you don't really know what you're doing, it's best not to do it at all. I have some knowledge. I'm not an expert. I've never pretended to be a vacuum expert. I'm just a, a nutcase, basically. A vacuum nutter, that's what I like to say I am. But I've got a lot of experience when it comes to vacuums. And I've, I've not had that many shocks. Today was one of the shocks, so I'll be a bit more careful next time. If you have any comments or advice on this cleaner, because it would be nice to get it working, it's in such lovely condition, please comment below and hopefully you'll see me all very, very soon. Bye for now.